lot of traveling. So in the spirit of giving and the holidays, here's a chance at some VC. Do you know which two cities have the longest distance between arenas? Is it Los Angeles and Boston, San Antonio and Toronto, Minneapolis and Miami, or Portland and Miami? The week is starting off right. Monday night, and 2K Sports presents the NBA. This is so let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. Marvin Bagley is out there with Lowry Markinen. Then it's Holiday. Then it's Williams. And it's Reeves in at the two. And for Orlando, we've got Durant. Tyus Jones out there with Murray. Then there's Gary Payton, the second. And it's Bassey in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And you look at how these teams match up, Clark. The guard positions boasting plenty of talent. And you think about it, Kevin, the skill level of today's players arguably at an all-time high. But nothing like guard skills to help you put on the show. Marvin the Magic shoot their first free throw of the night here. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. I don't think you could design a better score than Durant. I mean, range from deep, the touch at the rim, excellent handle, seven feet tall. He does everything you want from your first option. And good that time. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. A nice shot by Katie. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Outside Holiday. Fires from the line. Holiday with another miss. And the Magic with possession. It's a three-point game. And the jam by Kevin Durant. That's the defense's fault right there. You can't allow Durant to get that kind of position. And just about a minute into the first quarter. And Holiday kicks to Bagley. Back to Holiday. Kicks it out to Markinen. It's taken away by Peyton. In the corner, Murray with it. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Red hot so far. Four for four. Cooking with gas. Couldn't draw it up any better. Pass to Bagley. First quarter. About a minute and a half in. Outside Holiday. Good on the triple. Great response from Holiday. Marching down and knocking down a three of his own. The Magic have gone 4-4 four four to start, so a nice offensive rhythm to start here. And here's KD for three. Second chance shot. Rebound by Williams. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Holiday, the pass to Bagley. To the paint. And finish off by Bagley. I tell you what, he clearly is one of the best players in the league who does not get the same kind of gas that other guys do. But there's no better all-around guard in the NBA than Drew Holiday. And Durant puts up a deep three. Rebound by Williams. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Marking it inside the line. It's hauled in by the Magic. And this matchup with Dallas, it's their first meeting of the season. Yeah, a pair of losses for them in their meetings last season. And the cold, hard truth about it, they just had a hard time beating anybody last year. You know, those were games where you thought they could get a win. But now they need to forget about it. It's in the past. Let it go. And they've got to focus on the present and try to make a better run of it this time. Guys, this hasn't been his quarter. I mean, to me, just doesn't look completely comfortable or confident. Taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. Yeah, and that's really inexcusable. I mean, there's just no way that you can justify that. When you don't put the work in on defense, you're going to end up on the losing end. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Good work there as it goes. 
Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. And, you know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. The shot by Holiday, no good. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Some people see the Orlando Magic as a team player with a very high ceiling. How about you? Lots of potential there. No question about it, Kevin. And plenty of room for growth. The challenge is going to be corralling that and moving it in the right direction. You know, it could take longer than people expect or want it to. So you got to be patient in this situation. Back to Jones. Not much in the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. A moment now to see the numbers for Murray. He's coming off an excellent season. Averaged about 20 points a game, six assists, and five rebounds. And you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is. And he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. Here's Holiday. Out of hand on it. Out of bounds. Orlando takes possession. Orlando ball. For the matchup, Torrey Craig. He's checked in for Gary Payton. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Jones. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Magic leading by 11. Over to the wing. Murray for three. Buries the long-range jumper. Murray's got 10 points in the game. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that. You're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. Dallas calls timeout. And, Greg, with back-to-back -back games part of the schedule, how do teams feel getting into the latter part of that combo, like tonight? Well, these games can be especially taxing mentally and physically. At this point, it's a war of attrition, and really, who can survive the night? Malik Beasley, he's checked in for the match. Here's Murray. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Here's Reeves. Still scoreless. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And in terms of scoring points on turnovers, a solid season for them. They were in the top half of the league. One of those stats that tells you about a team's level of aggression. And so it's Durant with it. He'll bring it up for the Orlando Magic, leading by 12. Yeah. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. Man passes to Young. They get a hand on it. Here's the pass to Reeves. The Mavericks rebound. Collins. Good for the basket. Yeah. Starting off Collins. one for one with that shot. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out. But you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And they look strong here in the early going. This is it to Collins. And it's sent back by P.D. Affecting the shot right there. The length of Durant, a problem for the offense. And it's Murray with the jam. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And, you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Pass to Young. Here's Branham. Shot clock at five. It's deflected. Murray dishes to KD. They get the rebound. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. I mean, the, the points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Bassey's checked in. And Davian Mitchell subbed in for Murray. Mavericks trail by 20. 32 seconds left in the first quarter. Stolen by Mitchell. 
The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense of urgency. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. Branham, the pass to Reeves. Over Beasley. That one a little long. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Yeah, they built up this lead three points at a time. And I like the strategy. It's a great strategy. Bury those threes early, and it'll open up the inside for them later on. DeJounte Murray has been leading the charge for Orlando. And it was from three-point range where he did the most damage. He knocked down three in that quarter. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. just tuning in. We've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Magic? Look at the fast break point total from these guys. I mean, they're really hustling, working hard, and those hustle points are showing up on the scoreboard. And guys, they've also done a great job generating offense from their defense, forcing turnovers and making the defense pay for those mistakes. They've got Jones. Gary Payton II is out there with Torrey Craig. Then it's Mitchell, and it's Bassey in at the five down low. This is out there for Orlando. You cannot give Markin and room to shoot from the mid-range. I mean, he's capable of dropping these in bunches. Here's Bassey. Out the basket. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And the free throw, no good. Craig, you look at the size of some of these point guards now. Magic Johnson would feel right at home. Yeah, it's a part of a larger trend with all the switching defensively. If you have just one smaller guy on the floor, he is going to get targeted. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. Take a look now at some numbers for Jones. How he did last season. He averaged about 10 points a game last year. Five assists and two rebounds. And he's such a big part of what they do offensively. Yeah, he's just got that nice feel, that sixth sense, knowing where to be on the floor to help his teammates generate points. Good on the second free throw. Now Jones, scoreless thus far. Just his first attempt, and that's good. Number two. Just playing with poise and confidence, and they continue to put points on the board. Well, I like the way they're playing. A very smart first half. Quality shots, not wasting possessions. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Holiday against the bucket. You know, Drew Holiday has so many great attributes, but I think maybe perhaps the best one is his mindset. He's even keeled, he competes at a high level, and he never backs away from a challenge. That's good by Mitchell. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Bagley from outside. And Jones pulls it down. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Lori Markinen has gone from a bit player to a starring role on offense. He says it's something that I have to get adjusted to, but going forward, I have the room and the mentality to be more aggressive. When I watch film, I always see things that can become so much better. I have a long way to go and a lot of room to improve. Kevin? All right, good stuff, DA. Thanks. The Mavericks have gone 2 of 5 from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. 
really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Jones against Holiday. The kick out to Williams. Back to Holiday. Can they get it? That's tipped. Craig against Williams. Jones. The shot. No good. Great D that time from Bagley. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Shot's good by Williams. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. And the basket by Jones. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. It's stolen by Jones. Knocked away. Stolen by Holiday. From deep three-point land, the Mavericks rebound. Williams got a piece of it. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. And you know what? That tells the story in a lot of games, guys. And here you go. It's telling the story tonight, too. Right side, Markinen. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And Markinen is a low down inside close to the bucket. When he's got nice positioning, he's really comfortable inside. Mitchell kicks to Payton. Pass to Jones. Craig down low. Defended by Bagley. Craig can't get it to go. Down low. And it's Williams throwing it down. You know, something that Williams does so well as soon as he has inside position. He just goes for the finish. Back to Jones. Now the pass to Payton. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. 158 left in the second quarter. Rocket six. On the wing, Mitchell. Here's Bassett. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Bassey's got four points in the quarter. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. And it's going to be out of bounds. The match will take it. Orlando Paul. And here's what the schedule for Orlando looks like. On Thursday, they'll face off against Donovan Mitchell and the Atlanta Hawks. And then on Saturday, they'll take on Stephen Curry and the Milwaukee Bucks. Poked away. It's stolen by Begley. And here we go. The Mavericks in a fast break. Here's Mann. And he wills that Here's one in. Man. Sinking right through off the back iron. Going on the attack. Working his way into a nice shot. On the wing, Mitchell. Back to Jones. Passes it to Bassey. Stolen by Markinen. Out to the right wing. Here's Bagley. They get it again. Picks it out to Markinen for three. Drills it from outside. Markinen's got seven points. And the quick trigger of Markinen is impressive. He's got such a fluid release, too, especially on these catch and shoot jumpers. Out to the wing. Peyton passes to Jones. It's tipped. Williams with the block. A main staple in Williams' game, that sixth sense for when to rise up and deter those shots. Jones against Holiday. Five to shoot. Here's Williams. Bassey pulls it in. Bassey's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Jones. Once again, off the mark, Orlando. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. I like to call that stick-to-itiveness, getting everything he possibly could out of that play. Now he's shooting their third free-throw attempt of the game. And that one misses. Outside Durant. 
Floats one up, and the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And the defensive prowess of Williams uh, are just effective at altering shots and almost getting into the heads of shooters. And so it's the Orlando Magic rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Kevin. You look like you're in a great flow. What is happening out there? My teammates doing a great job of looking for me. I'm just trying to finish plays. Uh, post up is working for us a little bit, so you know I think the second half they're going to come on me and double a little bit. So uh, I got to kick out the shooter for good shots. We'll see how the adjustments work. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. DeJounte Murray had no problems getting going. He ended up with 15 points, two rebounds, and one assist. What did you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Magic? Down in the paint, they're doing everything right, seeking out high percentage looks. So far, the defense hasn't had any answers. And we'll see if those adjustments that the coaches are making at halftime work. And Shaq, what do you have to say about the Mavericks? First of all, where's the intensity on D? You think when a team is punking you like this, at least try to put a stop to it. Nope. Just keep giving up open looks, letting the league get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. DeJounte Murray has been sensational. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. On the floor for Dallas, Marvin Bagley is out there with Rob Williams. Then it's Lowry Markkinen. Then it's Holiday, and it's Reeves in at the two-guard position. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. And there's Katie. That's good on the assist by Jones. Jones has got assist number five here tonight. Holiday looking for an opening. Here's Markinen. That one good for two. Markinen's got nine. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off the perimeter guys, too. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment that's his killer instinct just fanning the flame yeah i love the fact he doesn't play the score he just keeps coming attack mode he doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal jones the pass to durant and that comes off the assist by jones jones has got six assists now in the game the defender all over durant and he still gets it to go well done Here's Reeves, gets the 14 foot of the fall. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Peyton passes to Jones, and there it is for him. Jones has got his third bucket of the night. That would be four in a row for him now as they have come racing out of the gate to start this second half. Bounce pass, Holiday from 11 feet away, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Kevin Durant. And the game Bagley has reminds me a, a little bit of Chris Bosh, a sweet lefty who plays with force and passion. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And he shot foul shots at about a 75% clip a season ago. And guys, if a game was coming down to the wire and an opponent needed to foul, I mean, he was the guy they wanted with the ball in his hands. I mean, shooting the free throws 
because of his proficiency there. And Orlando making a change here. Mitchell's checked in. And Dallas also making a switch. Young's checked in. Payton kicks to Murray. And the three off target. And, you know, that's their first miss after knocking down four in a row to start the half. Reeves can't hit. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Thank you, Kevin. The NBA has relaxed the rules that prohibited scouting high school games. With some one-and-done players sitting out their lone college season or getting hurt, teams needed the chance to scout them even earlier. Also, with these new pro youth leagues where NBA scouting is permitted, the sense was there was an inconsistency that needed to be remedied. Kevin? Yeah, that makes sense. EA, thanks. How do you defend him any better than this? I mean, Durant, just an incredible score. Dallas calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Please give a big round of applause for your The Magic team making team a switch here. Craig's checked in. Let them the Mavericks making a change the here. Magic Youth Dance Team. Here's Markinen. Nine points in the game so far. Collins passes to Branham. Collins with it. Just four to shoot. Pass to Branham. The tray. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. The Mavericks have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Reeves the pass to Young. To the right side. Brenham offline with his three. The Magic have gotten nearly everything to drop this quarter. They're seven of eight from the four since halftime. And there's a nice one-handed slam. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Pass to Reeves. On the high post, it's good. Austin Reeves Lee. has got four points now in the quarter. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Durant down low. Young's there. Comes up empty down low. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Here's KD. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mitchell's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Dallas has gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Mitchell. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Orlando. All game long, they've had active hands and, and really out in the passing lanes. And that aggression on defense has resulted in a ton of steal. And I love the fact they kept the pressure on, really pushing that ball, running it up the floor. I love seeing that. A team staying aggressive even when they're playing well. Good. And when he rises up, he knows he's probably going to get a clean look. It's a matter of executing. You know, for me, it doesn't get any better than seeing big fellows who can use the mid-range jumper to their advantage. Orlando grabs the miss. Craig's got six rebounds in the game. Murray left side. Outside, KD. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Lowry Markkinen. Well, you can't afford to bite on this. I mean, once Durant has you in the air, the rest of it is elementary. The Magic have gone two for three at the foul line in this game. And the first one at the line is good. Mann's checked in for Dallas. And both free throws good for Durant. The Mavericks have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. 
here's Mann. And it's sent back by KD. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Here's Mann. He's guarded by Melton. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Anthony Melton. Now let's check out a breakdown looking at some stats for Jared Allen. Great showing for him last season. And he's a shot blocker as well. Top 20 in that category last season. Great timing and challenges at the rim. And yeah, he's one of the most efficient scorers in the league for sure. Moves without the ball, avoids taking the bad shots. That's why he was top five in field goal percentage last year. Robert Williams is checked in for Thaddeus Young. Both shots good from the strike. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. And there's the drive. They get it back. Bounce pass from Williams. Branham, good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Branham's got his second bucket of the night. Orlando's gone 6 of 10 from three-point range, up over 50% for the ball game. Here's Durant, and it goes down two points. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this one. Just too many good looks from in close. Here's Branham, defended by Allen. Brenham pulls it in. For the three. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's Orlando. Way out in front. Their lead at 13 points as we close out the quarter. They've been. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. We've got Daniel Tice. Malik Beasley out there with Murray. And it's Makai Luke in at the three. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. B. That's a Boston. double whammy, guys. <laughs> that's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stuff. Well, turning defense to offense. We talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Brissett passes to Makai Luke. Fires the three. Brissett, no good. And so here is Dallas. They'll be playing host to Toronto for the next one. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Here's Koulibaly. Koulibaly. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Nice job creating for the easy deuce. And Murray's got the ball here for the Magic. No good that time. Good work defensively by Holmes. Driving the lane. Koulibaly, no good. Orlando's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. And that one is good by Beasley. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. The pass to Boston. Launches it. Rebound by the Magic. Holmes with the steal. And now here comes Iguodala leading the break. Here's Koulibaly. Again the miss by the Mavericks. The Magic have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. It's Beasley on the wing. He dishes it to Murray. Here's Brissett. And he finishes nicely okay. on the way. Chris Hatt's got his first bucket in this one. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. 
Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Pass to McKaylee. Fires for three. Rebounded by Holmes. The Mavericks have gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Offensive rebound, Igudala. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. And how about the level of concentration from Iguodala? Able to take some punishment on the finish there. Tice, good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got five assists in the game. Huge hole in the defense, that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. Pass to Koulibaly. Iguodala outside. It's rebounded by Tice. Orlando's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Beads it. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly from the layup. You know, a marksman like Beasley, not thrown by a little bump. He stays committed and gets his shot off. Iguodala, the pass to Reeves. Now Holmes. Here we are looking around the NBA. Clark, which division do you think is the strongest overall? I think it's pretty clear, man. You look at that Pacific division out west. You're talking Clippers, Lakers, Warriors, Kings, Suns. Show me another division that can match that for entertainment value, quality of all, number of all-stars, and caliber of the teams. That's the one. All the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give them any choice. But to blow the whistle, I mean, he's got to play without foul. For Dallas, Kulabali. And that one misses. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Bassey's checked in. Kevin Durant comes in for Brissett. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Mikhail Luke. And Jones subbed in for DeJounte Murray. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. Bassey. You know that, I mean... Another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. Holiday, no one around him. No good with the triple. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. And Young with the basket on the assist by Holiday. Well, he's so skilled from this area. Once Young gets it in a good spot, he's looking to score. Jones kicks to Craig. And here's KD for three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. They push it up for on three. Here's the floater. Holiday gets the bucket. Drew is very good in all areas, but he's also got a few tricks up his sleeve. That was a crafty shot by Holiday that time. Here's Craig Bagley with the point, and it's out of bounds. Well, they say it was last touch by Bagley. Mavericks making a switch here. Markkanen's checked in. Beasley right side, and here's KD for three. Markkanen pulls it in. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he, he has confidence to drill the three. And Clark, we know Commissioner Silver has acknowledged the game has changed in terms of its impact on players' bodies. And so adjusting the regular season's length is not out of the question. Well, you and I have talked about it for years. I've talked about it with other fellow announcers. It would be wonderful to see the season reduce by about 15, 20 percent in terms of regular season games. I think it would enhance the product immensely. And the fact that Commissioner Silver is letting us know it's not off the table, maybe we'll see it reduced in the not too distant future. Here's Holiday. Craig pulls it in. Orlando's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Magic. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, 
this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year, actually their fifth win on the year. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. It sure is. It's just the two gamers since they're in opposite conferences, and you can bet they'll take the same approach right into game two that they had tonight. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for KD. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. The kick out to Holiday. Here's Branham. Back to Holiday. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks. KD, a statement win. How satisfying is it for you? It was fun. It was fun. Uh, we came out and played hard. Uh, guys played together. And this is all that I expected, man. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, we was able to get the win tonight. We're looking forward to the next game. We're looking forward to seeing you out there again, man. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.